Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your incognito history on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, there are a number of different things that you can do, depending on whether you use Google Chrome or Safari. I'm gonna walk you through an example on Safari. Let's open it up here and you'll see I'm in incognito mode because you can see at the very bottom, it is all grayed out. This indicates that I'm in private browsing or incognito. Now there are a couple different options you have here. One is that the forward and back buttons still work. So I could hit the back button here and you'll see it will show me what website I was on previously. I can also tap the two squares at the bottom, right? and switch over to another tab that I potentially already had open. So those are a couple different ways that it allows you to see the history of websites you visited. However, once those tabs are closed, then it does not keep track of that history within your Safari app. There is a cool workaround though to find that history. So let's open up your settings here and tap on Wi-Fi. Now you can see I'm connected to my Wi-Fi here. I'll just tap the little I right next to it. And if I scroll down, I'm gonna use the router IP address. So I'm gonna copy the router IP address and I'm just gonna open up a new browse window or just use this one and hit paste and go. Now the cool thing is that while I'm connected to this, it allows me to connect to my router. Now you can see at the top left, I have AT&T. Depending on what you have, it will look different, whether you have a different provider, a different router, whatever it may be. But on here, let's say I scroll up and I'm gonna tap on diagnostics here, and we're looking for logs. So at the top here, you can see next to speed test is logs. Let's tap on that. And now it will show the source IP address and destination IP address of every single place, website, app, anything like that, that I have visited on this IP address or on anything going through that router. Now on here, you'll note that these are just IP addresses. It doesn't show the actual URL like google.com or ESPN.com. You'll have to go in here and deduce what those source and destination IP addresses are, just look them up on a web browser and you'll be able to find exactly what those URLs are or which apps were using those specific IP addresses. I hope this helps. If it did, please consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.